He is known for being a notable German philosopher, sociologist, psychologist, musicologist, and composer. He was a leading member of the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory and his work strongly influenced the European New Left. His name is Theodore W. Adorno. In the realm of philosophy and music, one name stands out, Theodore W. Adorno. Born as Theodore Ludwig Wiesengrund in 1903, Adorno was a multifaceted genius. He was not only a philosopher and sociologist but also a psychologist, musicologist, and composer. Adorno's contributions were closely associated with the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory, where he worked alongside influential thinkers like Ernst Bloch, Walter Benjamin, and Max Horkheimer. His writings, such as Dialectic of Enlightenment, Minima Moralia, and Negative Dialectics, had a profound impact on the European New Left movement. Adorno's intellectual journey was shaped by his critique of fascism and what he called the culture industry. He believed that the works of Freud, Marx, and Hegel were essential in understanding and criticizing modern society. Amidst the prevailing existentialism and positivism of the early 20th century, Adorno developed a dialectical conception of natural history, challenging the temptations of ontology and empiricism. His love for avant-garde music, influenced by the twelve-tone technique of Arnold Schoenberg, led him to study composition with Alban Berg of the Second Viennese School. During the Second World War, Adorno found himself in California as an exile, where he collaborated with renowned author Thomas Mann on the novel, Dr. Faustus. Adorno's expertise in music and his work with the newly relocated Institute for Social Research led to influential studies on authoritarianism, antisemitism, and propaganda. These studies served as models for sociological research conducted in post-war Germany. After returning to Frankfurt, Adorno played a vital role in the reconstitution of German intellectual life. He engaged in debates with Karl Popper, critiqued Heidegger's language of authenticity, and wrote about German responsibility for the Holocaust. As a writer, Adorno was known for his polemics, drawing inspiration from Nietzsche and Karl Kraus. He fearlessly critiqued contemporary Western culture, unafraid to challenge societal norms. His posthumously published work, Aesthetic Theory, aimed to bridge the gap between feeling and understanding in modern art. Adorno sought to challenge the privileging of content over form and contemplation over immersion. His legacy continues to inspire critical thinking and shape our understanding of philosophy, music, and society. Theodore W. Adorno, born as Theodore Ludwig Wiesengrund, grew up in Frankfurt am Main in a household filled with music. His mother, a professional singer, and his aunt, a renowned singer and pianist, exposed him to the musical world from a young age. By the time he was twelve, Adorno, a prodigious child, could already play Beethoven pieces on the piano. During his school years, Adorno attended the Dutscheren Middle School before transferring to the Kaiser Wilhelm Gymnasium. It was during this time that he developed a distaste for the nationalism that swept through Germany during World War I, disillusioned by the support of Germany's intellectual leaders for the war, Adorno, along with future collaborators Walter Benjamin, Max Horkheimer, and Ernst Bloch, grew skeptical of traditional knowledge. Adorno's family business established close ties with the Karplus and Herzberger factory in Berlin, leading to his acquaintance with intellectuals such as Benjamin, Bertolt Brecht, and Bloch. In 1937, Adorno married Gretel Karplus, the eldest daughter of the Karplus family. Adorno's passion for music led him to study composition at the Hock Conservatory in Frankfurt. He also took private lessons from respected composers Bernhard Seckels and Edward Jung. Alongside his studies, Adorno began publishing concert reviews and music articles, championing avant-garde music while critiquing the shortcomings of musical modernity. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.